Maz, a great performance from yourself out there today. What did you make of the game overall? Um, I feel like we deserve to win in the end. Uh, first half was a little bit scrappy from us. We didn't really get hold of the game as well as we tried to. But then the second half we come out flying and we ended up playing our game. Um, we changed the system a little bit which helped us a lot. And yeah, we ended up going and scoring, uh, scoring quite early and then just managing the game. We did manage to get a uh, goal near the end, but we quite, kind of dominated the second half and deserved the win in the end. Yeah, definitely. And Daryl said he sort of changed things about early mm -hmm. on in the first half to maybe sort of get, get on top of that mm -hmm. midfield battle. That's where you moved sort of infield a little bit. I know you've said in the past that's where you like to play predominantly, yeah. but mm -hmm. what did you make of that change in the first half? Um, yeah, it did, it did give us a little bit of a foothold in the game. Um, when the, near at the start of the game, they, their centre midfielders were getting on the ball quite a bit and dictating the game. And once we did change it, we ended up nicking the ball up a little bit higher up the pit field and just getting a foothold in the game. We just started playing our game a little bit, just playing it around. Um, we were getting on the ball quite well, um, but still a little bit sloppy in the, second, uh, in the first half. And then in the second half, we come out and done well. Yeah, we've mentioned that Kings Lynn were particularly good in that first half. Mm -hmm. How important is it to just manage sort of tough patches in games like that and get, get yourselves through and then sort of go about playing our game? It's the most important for me. Um, but as you saw in the first half, we weren't that great, but we were offensively solid. Um, and as long as we have them sticky patches in games and we dig it out and come through it, we're, we'll, we'll always be good. And that's what we've got. We're very good at at the moment. So we just have to continue doing the same things. Yeah, definitely. You just said to me off camera how disappointed you were in one of your finishes in particular. How do you sort of keep your head up after that and keep um, going? It didn't didn't take away from your overall influence in the game, but I know you're particularly disappointed in that sort of instance. I'd say throughout the whole season, well, the, lot, the first couple of games, there's been chances where I should have taken them. But to be honest with you, I look at it, I smile, turn around and just go on to the next one because eventually I will score and once I do Hopefully yeah. it'll just keep coming. Floodgates will open, yeah, fingers crossed. And just finally, the fans still travelled in good numbers even though we were on the telly today. How much do you take from them being here to sort of try and push you oh, guys indeed. on from the sidelines? Give us extra boost, especially when you're under the cosh. Like we were in the first half, they never start screaming and sh shouting for us and stuff. And just give us that extra bit of confidence and uh, belief and just helps us a lot.